everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl leah and i am back with another video today i will be doing a seafood mukbang slash q a so i asked you guys on instagram to ask me questions and it was really fast i only had it up for like 30 minutes so i'm just gonna answer some of the questions if they're not too much so yeah and i also have a seafood boy from this place if you're in chicago you guys can Today, I got garlic noodles. Now, I don't really know about these. I've never really had these in a boil before, but I have tried them before. And I have my little lemonade slushy here. It tastes really good. And then, I have a side of their house sauce. And then I got a boil with crab, shrimp. I got a boil with crab, shrimp, potatoes, sausage, and I think that's it. And I didn't get any corn because I don't really like the way their corn tastes, but when I want to like warm it up tomorrow, I'll just add corn. But tonight, I'm not really doing all that. There's still a lot of stuff to try, so. box everything and I'll be back okay everybody don't mind the cooking noises in the background but um so I have everything out and this is what it all looks like up close this is the boil here now I've had their boils plenty of times so I'm already know. well I already know what I'm getting myself into so yeah okay we're gonna start off with Question number one, which is a little bit much, but they said, how do you feel being the hottest female on TikTok? Now, I wouldn't say hot. That's a little bit much, but maybe you're just pretty. Everyone's pretty in their own way. But I mean, being a pretty girl on TikTok is basically like nothing really it's only really on tiktok and it's all up to tiktok to push your videos out there so if they don't do that you can't rely on that so it's really not that big of a deal so yeah someone said how old are you i'm 17 my birthday is next month if you guys haven't already seen my last birthday vlog go watch that I'll link it down below. But I'm definitely going to do another 18th birthday. Well, I'm going to do an 18th birthday vlog, another birthday vlog. So y'all can see the whole preparation of my whole entire birthday. Because why not? Like, it's so interesting to record. Unless you have, like, memory of that. So, yeah, why not just record? Even if you guys don't vlog, you should just record, like, a little birthday vlog every once in a while so someone asked um what career do you want to pursue in that over there i love hair i love doing hair i did my own hair this is a wig that a company sent me but I love doing hair. I could do people's hair all day. So when I get older, I would like to go to college in Atlanta, which I already applied to. We're waiting to hear back from them. We should hear back around April or before April. So also right now I have my own hair business called The Girlies Collection. You guys can see. And I will put the link to that in the description down below. I sell, I don't sell wigs. I only sell frontals, closures, and bundles and stuff like that. I also sell melt bands and stuff. So go look at that. But yeah, that's like the path I'm going down. You know, I love doing hair. So anything about hair I love. Also, go follow my hair page at the girlies collection on Instagram. 
And the next question, we're going to go to what goal have you accomplished? So I accomplished starting my hair business. I dreamed about this and then I made it come true with the help of my dad, with the help of my mom, with the help of connections that my dad had. So all of that is just like an accomplishment for me because I planned it and then I did it and we're moving on with that. So yeah, that's a great accomplishment that I'm very proud of, especially being 17 years old. So my favorite color, my favorite color would probably be, I don't know. Let's try these crab legs, but I'd say my favorite color is probably, I don't know, like I really can't decide. I'm really into gray right now, but that's kind of like a, a little phase that I'm having. But usually probably um, navy blue, like I like navy blue or a light pink, so yeah. Um, opinion on Nikki and Lotto's beef? I don't have no opinion on that because that's probably all set up anyway. Opinion on Tory Lanez and Megan Case? I don't really know too much about that, but all I know is that I saw Tory Lanez's sister yelling talking about what she was talking about and I couldn't take it that's all I'm gonna say but yeah okay someone said what do you like how did you become TikTok famous like what was the story on that so basically back when I was living maybe like about all my TikTok fame and like Instagram fame took me a while but it was something that I was committed to and I wanted to like start doing so that's what I did the story of that was just I made a TikTok account like I used to have everyone used to have musically and stuff right so I made like a TikTok account but when I started it because everyone was back on TikTok like these were the days when Charlie D'Amelio was like really really the most famous girl which she's not anymore but I made my TikTok back then, and so I just kept posting consistently, like, making good content, making trendy content, using trendy sounds and stuff like that. So, once I started doing that, you know, like, a little bit of, like, the little slideshow or, like, TikTok challenges, y'all know. But maybe just, like, little slideshows and stuff, so I just was, like, doing stuff that I saw on my For You page. Not everything, but, you know, some stuff that was, like okay this is good content so after i started doing that the followers just started to come in and i was like at 10k then i just started consistently doing the same thing okay guys so some things i forgot to add in this part of the video was i was going to school right like after around like junior year i'm a senior now so around like last year that was when i was right like around 80k like i was saying and so like at school people were noticing me like not really a lot, but consistently, like in class, they're like, oh, you look familiar. Oh, um, da 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 da. Like, is this you? Is this you? Is this you? And then, like, eventually everyone just kept finding out, kept finding out. But I ended up transferring from that school. So I just wanted to say that. But when I was at a school with, like, mostly, you know, black people, a lot of, I was getting noticed a lot. But now that I'm at this school now, I don't really get noticed at all. Only around, maybe, like, a little bit, but. I mean not as much and then um around like this year i just started getting my instagram fame because a lot of you guys might know me from tiktok or instagram but on instagram like i said well like i'm gonna say i have like 95k now so we're almost at 100k and that just started coming in and that was because i really don't even know what happened i guess my my pictures and stuff on Instagram was just like popping up on people's explore page. People keep saying they just saw me on their explore page. So I guess it was something that Instagram was doing or like maybe just the way like I was posting consistently on Instagram, but the followers on Instagram just started rolling in. Like when I had 80K on TikTok, I still had around maybe like 1000 followers on Instagram. So that's all I want to say about that. But 
just saying that just because you have followers on a certain platform like YouTube or maybe not YouTube, but just TikTok, that doesn't mean that your followers are going to autom automatically transfer to Instagram. So you have to work for that and you have to stay consistent on both apps for you to really grow and see a change in your Instagram followers. So, yeah. And so now I'm at 100K, like 100.5 or point one of those. I think I'm at 100.9K, something like that on TikTok. And then my backup is like at 13.5K. Then on Instagram, we're at like almost 100K. So, yeah, thank you guys. I love all my supporters and I love when you guys make me edits. It makes me so happy because y'all all took those long hours to stare at me for that long to make an edit of me, which is so funny and crazy because I always wanted people to do that like back in the day. When like Dust Smash and Musical.ly was around, so now it's like finally happening. So that's fun. But yeah, that's basically the story. And overall, TikTok will, they'll try to shadow ban you and they'll try to do little things, block you suspend your account stuff like that you will be like upset especially when you work so hard like i've got my account suspended a lot of times maybe like about five times and it was all because of things that was nothing really like they won't even let me do the hips dance without them taking it down so that's really that but i mean yeah but we're getting towards the end of this seafood boil another question you asked for how was senior how was senior year going so far so senior year is pretty fun I mean not pretty fun but it's pretty all right so far I mean only thing I can really complain about is my school and I mean that's really it I don't really like to complain too much I kind of like to search for solutions so yeah but so far it's all right it's i don't really think i'm going to prom like i don't see myself going to prom this year especially at the school i'm going to now it's just not a, a thing that i'm looking forward to especially because i went to prom last year just in case the world got shut down again i was like okay since it's junior year and the seat and, and at my old school the senior prom was juniors and seniors. So the senior prom at the end of the year for the seniors was for juniors and seniors. So I was a junior, so I went to the senior and junior prom and I enjoyed it, I had a nice time. So I said, if I don't wanna go to prom next year, at least I have this year to celebrate. So that was my prom. I'm not going to prom this senior year. So yeah, and I haven't even touched these noodles yet, so. Okay, so. Someone asked advice for people that want to be wig influencers. Now I would say I'm not I don't really even consider myself a wig influencer for real. Because I don't really get I don't really do it consistently, but I do do it from time to time, maybe like once or twice a month. So honestly, I would say Make sure your social media is set up to where it's presentable. And you know, like, y'all know how your social media should be set up. There's not really a standard, but it's like, just make sure it's like presentable, like something that you like, nice and organized. And like, if you have like one hairstyle, you don't wanna be posting like a bunch of pictures, like try to just keep it in order, nice and neat, you know, things like that. But, Make sure also that you have a email in your bio because that's the whole way people will contact you. That's the whole setup. Once you gain Instagram followers and TikTok followers, they'll start from your TikTok. They'll go over to Instagram. They'll see the email in your bio and then they could email you from there. Any, Not even just wigs. That's for any collaborations. That's for anybody that's looking forward to being or trying to be an influencer make sure you have a email that when people really want to be 
professional and want to collaborate you seriously, they'll have a nice professional way to email you. And then they could email their website and stuff. You could decide. You can search. You can pick out who you want to who you want to reply to and things like that. So, yeah, that's what I would say. That's the number one start. And just make sure you're building up your content. Post it. Maybe do your hair. I don't really want to say do your makeup, but just do your hair. Make sure you're just keeping your hair done. Make sure you're already doing hair install videos, maybe on YouTube or maybe on TikTok, you know, little short 30 minute hair videos. Like I made one today with this wig, so y'all be seeing that soon. But just make sure you're already acting like you're a hair influencer so that when they see your page, they're like, oh, okay, this is something that she can already do. I see an example, I'm ready to spend my money and have her promote our wigs. So yeah, that's the main thing. Okay guys, so you all asked who are the five best wig companies in my opinion? Five best wig companies in my opinion. I say I say first she so Prada. Because every wig that I've seen Hunaya wear and LaDove wear and like you know, it came, I think she promoted yeah, she promoted she so Prada before. When I see it, it's just always so good. Like their wigs are always just so thick and their laces are always HD, no matter what. And when they give you inches, the inches flow and it just looks so nice. So I say she's so proud of, they always giving out high density wigs and I would love to work with them one day. So she's so proud of if you're seeing this, hit your girl up. So that about wraps up this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below for more video suggestions. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.